the two sides of my family were a little different. So my father's side of the family, although they, they too were involved with Boybrick, and they also um, sent their kids to Yiddish shul, belonged to a temple, went to temple, I don't know how frequently exactly, but I think I went once with my grandmother and uh, maybe I went with both of them, I don't remember, but, but not a lot, uh, but they belonged. My father got a bar mitzvah. Uh, none of the kids on the Simon side were ever bar or bat mitzvahed. Uh, so it was a little different on both sides, but uh, the identity as a Jew was really more on the Yiddish side than we, we really didn't take anything from the foreman side, which was which you know, my grandparents belonging to a temple. That really didn't make it into the picture. We also, um, I mean, it was quite clear to me as a kid growing up that. I wouldn't say we are atheists. I would say what was what I was told was that God is something that some people believe in, but we don't. And so as a kid, even among other Jewish kids, this actually made you into something of, a, of an outcast. I wouldn't say outcast in terms of people won't talk to you, but I can remember sitting at, I think, uh, like a lunch table, in, and this was in K through 3, and somehow the subject of God came up, and I just said, well, we don't believe in God. And it was like outrage and exclamations, and what do you mean? So uh, it didn't occur to me at the time that there was anything odd about being Jewish and also not believing in God. It didn't seem to me as a kid, that these things had anything to do with each other whatsoever. So, uh, but I didn't think of myself as, as being less Jewish because of not believing in God. I just didn't, didn't understand, um, and, and again, I was young, but didn't understand that some people think that believing in God is sort of a central core part of what's required to be Jewish. And that, and obviously, I still don't understand that either. <laughs>